What's up, you guys? My name is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is Oracle Card Reading for a Sign of Capricorn for June in 2022. This can resonate if you have caps in any aspects of your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Sun, Moon, Energy, your chart. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Uh, free general oracle free general oracle card reading. So it's very important. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. One message may apply. Two may apply. Two plus may apply. None may apply. Only you know your uh, story, not anybody else. Okay. So it's very important to only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Okay. I'm going to use a plethora of Oracle cards for this reading, and um, I haven't received any channel messages in, but if I do, I will let you know. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below if you feel guided to do so. Spirit messages you have signed up for. A particular political party is it will become significant in a Capricorn's life. For one, it they have already become significant in a Capricorn's life. Okay, I heard a particular political party is for one of you guys that has already become significant in your life. For one, about to become significant in your life. Um, I did hear two political parties actually in the channel messages, but I'm not. I don't put. I don't do political on here, so I'm not going to tell you the parties, but um, I did hear two specific parties, but you have to plug in your own particular, particular life, how it resonates and resonates for you, Cubs. For one of you guys, it sounds like a particular, uh, particular say that five times fast, dear Lord, a particular political party has already become significant in your life. For one, they're about to. So I think one of you guys, you're about to... Um, become a member of a political party or become a political uh, activist or become more active in your political um, party. However that applies, it resonates in one's life. Like I said, I heard two of them, but I'm not putting it publicly on here. Spirit messages you have for Sonic Cats. I'm thinking political activism, I'm thinking volunteering, I'm thinking um, events, galas, meetings, um, ideas, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Spirit messages you have sign caps. And one of you guys could be very stubborn or somebody you're connected to could be very stubborn because it's taken me forever to get these cards out. Spirit messages you have signed on cats. Okay. So we have golden golden egg, earthworm, happiness. Goddess of the Moon, which is High Priestess Energy in this deck. So High Priestess Energy. Marriage and Dagger. Number 52 or 7 could be very significant numbers in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. 52 or 7. It could be possible ages of you or somebody you're connected to. Possible lottery number. Possible date birth number. Any other significant number in one's life. 52 or 7. Golden Egg. A jackpot winning is about to become significant in a Capricorn's life. 
And a settlement is about something significant in a Capricorn's life. For some, it's your settlement. For some, it's someone you're connected to. Okay, I heard a jackpot winning is about to become significant in a particular Capricorn's life. Um, so that could be your jackpot winning or somebody you're connected to's jackpot winning. I'm thinking lottery, but it could be any other kind of jackpot winning. I'm thinking lottery or it could be at a casino possibly. However, that resonates and applies in one's life. It could be you. Um, I'm feeling lottery or uh, casino energy. So either you some kind of lottery or casino energy or somebody you're connected to regarding some kind of jackpot winning. However, that resonates. Um, I'm feeling that's the golden egg energy, the jackpot uh, winning, whether it's uh, at a casino or um, through a lottery type winning for you or somebody you're connected to. Wow, that's beautiful. By the way, this is for June of 2022. Um, just to let everybody know, June of 2022. Earthworm. And this is Earth, Earth sign energy, by the way. This is your energy, Earth sign energy. Federal prison will be a part of a Earth sign's life sooner than they think. Very criminal Earth sign. Oh, Lord, I heard federal prison will be a part of an earth sign's life, a very criminal earth sign, very sooner than they think. So, Lord have mercy. So, I think this um, criminal caps, now, if it's not you caps, it could be another caps you're connected to in some shape, form, or fashion. But there's some kind of criminal Capricorn out there in some shape, form, or fashion. Her federal prison is about to become part of their life sooner than they seem to think it is. So, for some of you light side caps, you could be um, someone that's about to help provide information to take them to to um, create a series of chain, chain of events to take them to federal federal prison is what I'm presuming here. I mean, whatever the hell they did, it was pretty, pretty shysty, I'll tell you that. Um, so only you know who this criminal Capricorn is in your life. Only you know your story, not anybody else. I feel for a lot of you light side caps, you're about to provide information to put them there. But they're coming up as the earthworm energy. Um, Earthworm. Um, I think one time they might have been a golden egg energy. And then soon they're about to be earth because this is like the top of the top in the in this deck. This is like the lowest of the low. So I think they went from the top of the top and about to go to the lowest of the low, i.e. federal prison, i.e. the earthworm energy. Um they're about to be like a freaking grounded, like a damn in in the ground, i.e. the federal prison. Um not gonna be free because it's some kind of crimes or crimes. And like I said, I feel for a lot of you um, high vibrational Capricorns, you're about to help put them there. But you plug it in how it resonates. Only you know your story, not anybody else. Happiness. But it is another Earth sign that could have Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Midham, and Jupiter charts. For one Capricorn, this is a very, 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 very low vibrational Libra. Feminine Libra. Stolen inheritance. You're about to provide information to put them in federal prison. Oh my God, I heard for one of you guys, this is very, very, very low vibrational Libra. You're about to help provide information to put them in federal prison. So we have a Capricorn that sounds like it's going to go to federal prison. Uh, not, not a Capricorn, I'm sorry, Earth sign. And a low vibrational Fem Libra. So, um, some of you guys know information I'm feeling on the low vibrational Fem Libra, some on the um, low vibrational Capricorn. They could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or um, Libra in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, and Hamda, Jupiter charts. They're both both low vibrational. I'm feeling for you high vibrational Capricorns. Um, one of, this low vibrational Libra stole inheritance. They stole a golden egg. They stole inheritance. Um, maybe for some it's your inheritance they stole, maybe for some it's somebody else's inheritance, but however that resonates, you know information on this, and you're about to provide it. And it's going to lead them through a series of chain events to federal prison. Wow. Happiness. A water park, significant in a Capricorn's life.
Okay, I've heard a water park significant in a Capricorn's life. So I think water parks make you happy caps or you're about to look into visiting a water park. However, that resonates and applies in one's life. But I feel water parks make you happy or you're about to try them out if you've never been to one. But you have the water park energy with the cap the happiness. I think it's going, if you never tried one, it's going to make you happy. If you have tried one, maybe you want to visit back to one. I love water parks. They're so freaking fun. Um, but only you know your story, not anybody else. And a significant birthday party. And a significant birthday party. Well, this is for June of 2022. So for somebody um, you're connected to, their birthday, I'm feeling, is in obviously in June of 2022. For some, it could resonate before because, you know, we still got 10 days left of May. So their birthday could be in May or June, I'm presuming, um, of 2022. But it's not your birthday unless you, uh, it's not your birthday if you're a cap son. Now, you might be a Cap's um, Moon Rising, Venus, North Node, Behavior, Jupiter. Maybe for some it is your birthday. But some kind of birthday, I'm feeling at the um, end of May or June. Uh, some kind of birthday party is going to make you happy. You plug it in, how it resonates. Goddess of the Moon. A very highly intuitive reader is about to get high honor soon for exposing very criminal things. It's about, for one, it's about to shock the hell out of you. Very large reward. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. So if this resonates for you, I don't feel that... Um, this is your reader energy. I don't feel it's you. For some, you, well, for some, you could be the reader because I heard it's going to shock the hell out of you. So I feel for a majority of you guys, it's not you that's about to get this large reward. I feel it is um, your reader. Um, your highly intuitive reader and she's coming up. Well, it could be a he or a she. He or she's coming up as a goddess of the moon energy. So a high priestess energy. It could be a high priestess or a high priest. A masculine or a uh, masculine takes on heavy femme or a feminine energy. I heard they've really been exposing some um, criminal, some hefty criminal, dirty, shifty things, basically, in the energetic space and in their world and in everybody else's world and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I heard they're about to get a very large reward soon, and it's going to shock the hell out of you. So, I, like I said, I feel for a majority of you guys, it is not you that is this high priestess or high priest. I feel this might be a reader that you frequent or you have frequented, how that resonates, or you will frequent. But um, I heard they're about to get a very large reward soon. So I feel it's a cash reward or it might be a physical item reward in my, or it might be a combination of both. But um, this is definitely your reader energy here. Um, they're pulling up as the high priestess. So I'm feeling for a majority of them, they are feminine energies. For some, they might be masculines that take on heavy femme. But they're highly intuitive. They're psychic, I'm feeling. Uh, for some, they could be psychic investigators or psychic mediums or clairaudient or clairvoyant clairvoyant or uh, delivered dreamscape messages but however that resonates they're highly intuitive i do feel they're, they're gifted for sure um, and they're so gifted that they're using their talents and skills to put out to the universe some kind of um they're un they're uncovering truths in the universe and exposing people and um they're about to get rewarded for it you plug it in how it resonates and i feel it's monetary and that could be the golden egg energy, too. For some, it could be you that's about to be rewarded, um, possibly. But for a majority of you guys, I feel it's somebody else. And for some, it might make you happy they're about to get rewarded with the golden egg energy, possibly, for some. I feel for a lot of you guys, you really like this reader. Or you're about to come across them and you're about to really like them. Marriage. A significant wedding for a Capricorn in June. June of 2022. Okay, I heard a significant wedding coming for a Capricorn in June of 2022. So, um, 
this is a wedding energy. Uh, it could be you getting married in June of 2022 or somebody you're connected to getting married in June of 2022. For some, it could be a reader about to get married in June of 2022. Or maybe for some, you're going to marry a reader in June of 2022. Um, possibly, which will make you happy or them happy or something of that nature. But some kind of significant wedding in June of 2022, Capricorn, whether you're the one getting married, you're part of the wedding party, or somebody else. However, that resonates and applies in one's life, Capricorn. One wedding will occur in July of 2022, but it will not be very public at first. Be made public later with the wedding. Okay, I heard one wedding will, um, so there's a wedding that's going to occur in June of 2022, and then there's a wedding that's going to occur in July of 2022. Now, this reading is for you guys for June of 2022, but I pulled it in, so you plug in how it resonates. But there's one about to occur in June of 2022. Sounds like it's going to be very public. But this one that's going to happen in July of 2022, it could be you or somebody you're connected to. I heard um, it's not going to be public at first. It's not going to be public at first. It sounds like the two people that are going to get married and play, um, in June of 2022, I'm sorry, July of 2022, they're not going to tell anybody they're going to get married. Um, but it sounds like they're going to get married, like the marriage certificate, marriage document, legally married. But they're not going to tell people they're married. I heard a wedding later down the line. So I think they're going to strategically secretly get married in July of 2022, not tell a soul or many souls, and then later down the line plan the wedding. But all the while they're married, they're just not telling anybody they're married. But it sounds like they're doing it for strategic reasons and that could be the goddess of the moon energy too, keeping it secret from, it sounds like everybody except for themselves for strategic reasons. But it's gonna make them happy. Now, it could be you that's about to do this in July 2022 or somebody you're connected to, but somebody is going to plan. It sounds like they're them and their partner, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, is going to strategically plan a marriage in July 2022, but they're not going to tell anybody um, for strategic reasons. But later down the line, they're going to plan a wedding, but all the while they've been legally married but they're doing it for strategic reasons. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. Dagger, fear, worries, 10 situations. Relationship abuse is about to become very public very soon. For some of you, you will be shocked at who was abused. For some, it's a masculine energy, a feminine energy, abusing a, abusing a masculine energy. For some, a feminine energy was abusing a masculine energy. Not together anymore for some. For some, they are. Oh, my Lord. So relationship abuse. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So for some of you guys, I don't feel it's you that's in the um, re uh, the relationship abuse. For some, you could be. For some, you could be in the relationship abuse and you're about to make it public. Uh, about to stand up for yourself and make it public. For some, I heard these people are still in relationships and being abused and they're about to speak out on it. For some, they're not anymore. So it's like breakup energy and they're about to speak out on the abuse. I heard you're going to be shocked at some of these people. Um... I think you might be shocked they're about to go public speaking on their past abuse or current abuse, or you're about to be shocked um, they, they have broken up or they're about to broke up, break up, or they're just about to publicly speak on the abuse. But it's two people that were in relationships or currently still in relationships. If they're currently in a relationship and they're speaking on abuse, I can't imagine why they would not break up. I'm just saying it doesn't sound like they're legally married. Uh, for a lot of these people, don't sound like they're legally married. Sounds like they're boyfriend, girlfriend, or fiance as type energy. I feel for a lot of these situations where they're about to speak out on the abuse. 
um, they've already broken up. They already broke up. Um, cause I can't imagine why you would stay in a relationship and then go very publicly and speak on the abuse that you're currently still free willingly keeping yourself in. That makes like no sense. So I feel for a majority of these situations, they very broke up. Heard for a majority of them, it's masculine energies that were abused and you're about to be shocked. So the fear, worries, intense situations in this aspect is the abuse of the relationship. For a majority of them, it's masculine energies that were abused, but it sounds like the masculine energy um, in the relationship, the breakup energy or about to be breakup energy is about to speak up on the abuse. Um, for some, it might make you worry because maybe you are connected to the partner that abused them. I heard it was a femme energy that was abusing the masculine energy in a lot of these situations. So for some, I feel you might be a family member of the feminine energy that abuses masculine energy, or you might be um, a neighbor of the feminine energy, or you might be positively connected to the feminine energy, but there's about to be, he's about to speak up. He's about to speak up. And I think it might make you worry because I think you are connected to her or was connected to her in some shape, form, or fashion. Or you might be worried for his safety, possibly for some. You plug it in how it resonates. Wow. Botox gone bad. And a significant band concert. Okay, I heard Botox gone bad and a significant band concert. And a significant softball game. And a significant softball game. So Botox gone bad. So you plug that in how it resonates. That could be your Botox that has gone bad or is about to go bad. Or somebody you're connected to, but some kind of Botox going bad. Now, Botox is injectables uh, for, um, like, um, it's injectables to make your um, face or body um, look better. For anybody doesn't know, you can Google Botox if you're not familiar. I've never gotten Botox. Um, I don't judge people that get Botox, but some kind of Botox going bad energy, whether it's you that have... Um, whether your Botox is about to go bad or somebody else's Botox is about to go bad or somebody you're connected to's Botox is about to go bad. How that resonates. Some kind of significant softball game. It sounds like upcoming in the universe or for some, it might have already happened. And for some, um, uh, what was the other one? Oh, a significant band concert. So I feel that's upcoming in the universe too, but for some, that might have already happened too. You plug it in how it resonates, you guys. Let me see if I hear anything else. And a Capricorn is about to shock everybody, and they're about to ask their partner for a divorce. They really want to be single. Oh, my Lord. And a Capricorn is about to shock everybody and about to ask, them, uh, ask their spouse for a divorce. They want to be single. So if that message applies for you, Capricorn, you were legally married, and you're about to shock everybody. Um, and ask for divorce from your spouse. Now, you can be masculine or feminine, I'm feeling, but uh, you, I heard you want to be single. So you want to be single to Pringle energy like me, just saying. Um, I don't judge anybody. I don't care if you're married, single. I don't care. I mean, I'm equal opportunity, just saying. But you want to be single. You want to be single. I heard you're about to shock the hell out of everybody and your spouse and ask for divorce because you want to be single. I think it's going to make you happy. That you want to be, uh, you want, it makes you happy. You want to be single, so um, you go with your bad self. Whatever makes one happy. I'm all about happiness, personal happiness, and personal choice. But you know, only you know your story, not anybody else. But I think it's going to make you worried, or make your community or society worried, because uh, I think they might be against um, divorces, possibly for some of you guys in your areas and societies. They might be against divorces. They might be against um, against divorces. Is what I'm feeling for some. But I heard you just want, you want out. So whoever you are and however that resonates. All right. I love you guys so much. I hope this helped and namaste.